King off-road racing shocks, 100 millimeter, one-tenth high performance scale shock set. I am very excited. Uh, King Racing, if, if a lot of people don't know who they are, they're, uh, they started doing tr trophy trucks uh, in the desert, Baja 1000, all that stuff. Um, they're a great company, great manufacturer for shocks, and honestly, I think the best uh, shock company for actual, actual trucks. Now, for scale, I'm not sure this is my first pair of shocks I've ever put on a, on a scale crawler. So we'll see, and we'll see how this goes. So go ahead and open these up. In the back, you got a uh, got some stickers. Um, just talks about the RC4 drive officially licensed King Shot. Uh, set is here, officially licensed product. Now these look absolutely beautiful. Let's go ahead and open these up. Oh <laughs> wow. <laughs> Check these out. Wow, look at look at the detail in these things. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. The attention to detail and the just the realism. This is I've seen the other shocks, G made and Proline Big Boars and, and whatnot, but they don't look scale. This, I mean, just look. <laughs> it is, is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So, uh, with these shocks, I know a lot of people have been asking, you know, what weight and what type goes in there, what, what weight oil. Well, some people said that uh, they're running 90 weight. Some people were talking about inner springs inside. And you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, I picked up some some 70 weight low C oil at my local hobby shop, and I'm gonna try it. You know, I'm gonna give it a shot and, and see how it, how it goes. So, uh, building a shock. All right, let's go ahead and, and bust into here. So we're gonna take the spring off. So we'll play at the bottom. Put it down. One shot. Boom! Boom! Bam. All right. So, as you guys can see, building a shock. There's plenty of videos out there for building shocks and stuff like that. I'm not going to get into detail with you. I'm going to go ahead and build my shocks. Um, but it's, it's, it's fairly simple, okay? You just, you got to get as much of the air out of the shocks as you can. That is, that's the biggest thing with, with building shocks is that air. If you can get most of the air out, you ain't going to have a problem at all. Um, another thing that I read a review on, which is a good idea, if you don't want your, I hope I can find it, if you don't want your, your shocks leaking, you can go ahead and pick up uh, some green, green slime. That you could actually, I'm not sure if you have to take these uh, shocks apart, but on the O-ring, and there is a little O-ring, that's what keeps it. So, you know, I just go ahead and throw a little bit of green slime on in there, and uh, it should be good. So let me get these shocks built, take the body off, and uh, we'll start taking these these little shocks off, and we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. Stand by. What's up, guys? There they are. Take a look at that. Oh, wow. Can't tell me that those don't look good, huh? Wow. Absolutely gorgeous. Let me push it off. Get out of the way. <clears throat> you don't even have to say anything. You just sit there and look at it. You know? Look how gorgeous they look, and they function. I mean, that's an awful lot more in the rear. And look at the front. Remember the front? Ready? <laughs> yeah. A lot, a lot more travel. Uh, definitely going to get more articulation with these shocks here. Um, 
What I did, went ahead and replaced the old suspension links down here. Um, I had them and I had to take all this off anyways to get the shocks in there. So I went ahead and did that. Uh, pretty simple, straightforward. Just be careful with the uh, the axle up here. But uh, let's check out this articulation, man. Let's see. That's that's considerable, a lot better, and that and that's still, I mean, they're still playing that. I got them uh, tied down pretty good, preloaded pretty well, so it's it's sitting pretty uh, rebound on that's pretty good. Gorgeous shocks, absolutely gorgeous. Let's look at that. <laughs> I am extremely happy with the purchase and with the way that they came out. Let's get the body and see what the body looks like on there. What do we do? I do gotta adjust my uh, body post too. great looks really good on the you guys can see that but wow shock and awe guys shock and awe and that just that's crazy the articulation of this ready Keep going, just keep this going. Come on, back tire. And the back tire is not even off the ground yet. <laughs> That's not even full articulation. Oh, I guess that is actually. Wow. These shocks are amazing. I highly suggest if anybody's uh wants to get these shocks that uh that you go for it. And I'm gonna do some running videos here. Uh it's kind of nasty outside today, so it might be a tomorrow or if it clears up a little bit. Um, I'm really excited to see what these, uh, how these work and how they really react, you know, with the trail riding and stuff. Uh, I do have one more surprise for you, actually. And this actually came in before uh, I got a chance to do something else, but. Right there, RC four wheel drive TSL super swappers, and these are one nines. So let's do a comparison test. All right, two point two mudslingers. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, not mudslingers. Uh, flat iron RC four wheel drive. And these are two twos. These are two twos. Look. Two twos. But what I'm thinking is with this right here, with this tire, I'm actually going to be able to run this bumper now, I think. It's not, I'm not going to be so wide to where I won't be able to actually run that tire. Um, and if I have to, I'll get extensions to bring the wheel out a little bit. And there's a special something going on in this tire. I'm not going to tell you yet. I was going to wait for the next video. Hey guys, if you like what you see today, make sure you click like, subscribe, comment, whatever you want to do, and uh, and let me know. Uh, RC four wheel drive for these shocks. Um, I'm running seven, 70 weight. I think I said it in my last video, but uh, I don't know where I put it. But yeah, I'm running. I'm running 70 weight. Low C, 70 weight certified silicone check oil, 70 weight, and it's it does it's doing great. I mean that's just what I want to see in a shock. It really is. And I got a lot of tuning to do with them, and you know I can preload down more or take some out. But for now, I'm just gonna you know 
Let's see how I can run them in. Look at that. You can't. That's amazing. Front tire still on the ground. Just coming up. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope this uh, video was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, and concerns. And like I said, please click like, comment, subscribe, and uh, leave suggestions. If you guys want to see a, a certain video, you want to see me uh, do something, just let me know. I'll see if I can facilitate that. All right, guys. Thanks for watching RC Channel.